hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tega Clifford and if you're a new subscriber I'm saying kisses to you guys thanks for stopping by and if you're a former subscriber ooh, thanks for coming back <laughs> so today I'm really excited because I have something juicy mm, something that I have been inspired to talk about you know say so um my previous video I just did this look so if you haven't seen it please just check it out and don't forget to subscribe like and share today is gonna be all about teachable moments guys so stay tuned while we go into it and if you don't know who I am <laughs> you're gonna know me now my name is Tega Clifford. So today is going to be a true life story or story time. So of late, I've been reading a lot of stories about suicide, a lot of stories about people killing themselves because they can't live with whatever is happening. Or it's become a topic for WHO and some NGOs and they are really taking it up and they are trying to look for ways to reduce the amount of suicide in our country or in all over the world right now. So this talk or this story time was actually inspired by somebody that called me trying to downgrade me. So let me just start from the beginning, you know, so that you follow me as I'm going. So um, on Saturday, after I came back from a session, I went home and I got a call from a, from a girl. So you know those friends that after school, you put just <laughs> clear. Yeah, those type of friends. So you know the thing where you know somebody i know you we say hello we say hello i like your i like your dress it have been like that yeah so that type of friend or person or acquaintance whatever i want to call her she called me on saturday evening i picked up the call i said hello ah. hey she told my phone is the one i'm using to record even i've done it you know that described it but give me a minute let me use something so i'm going to use my mirror to do the hello all right hello hi hey what's up Oh, am I speaking to Tega? Yes, this is Tega. How may I help you? Uh, my name is Tolu. Mm. Oh, she now had to really describe herself to make me remember. Finally, she said one of my friends that introduced. So I'm like, oh, okay, I know you. Hey, it has been long. This is almost a year and you're calling me. Okay. She said she had reviews of my YouTube channel she wanted to share with me. And I'm very, like, I'm open to feedback and how she went through my instagram pictures she watched all my youtube videos you went to my instagram you looked at all my videos from the bottom all my pictures to the top she had to say was oh i'm really looking very fat and bloated okay that um she feels like um i should not be showing out my rolls my flabs to the to the to the gram that they don't need to see my insecurities I was like, oh, okay, so anything else? And she's like, oh, yes, she has quite a lot, but she just has to tell me the truth since nobody wants to tell me the truth that I'm really getting too fat and I'm losing my shape and that thick is no longer the new black. That girl, guys right now like skinny girls that are modelly, you know, tall, slim and everything. I was like, are you serious? She was like, yes, and then she watched one of my videos where I was saying I was single and I should be embarrassed to be single to be saying it out that but then she understands why i am single and it's because of my body size because i am fat and i'm bloated that is why i cannot keep a man that is why i cannot get a man hey jesus oh, shamba, shamba. and then she kept on talking talking reviewing all my youtube videos reviewing all my instagram pictures and everything she said to me made me laugh i feel like i forgot some of it but maybe in between the video it come up now she watched my scar video and she told me <laughs> that is it because of common breasts that they were using to make fun of me that I, i'm calling it a scar that it's not a scar People have been through worse than I have been through so that should not be one of the top things that should be making me to shed tears 
that all those things that was shedding, she feels in her opinion that it were all crocodile tears just to get people to view my video because that had the highest amount of views so in other words in our own interpretation because it had the highest amount of views it means everything was fake so i know i had the sense that okay hello hi we went to the same school we had like two mutual friends but you know the joy that i feel is because everything she said he don't make any hair in my body to stand he no enter <laughs> so I was really excited that she had all those things to say because she spent almost two gig to view my YouTube videos, which means another one extra view for me. That's a win. Pakam. She subscribed to my channel. Another subscriber. Pakam. She liked in fact she literally viewed all my videos on Instagram. She called me. MTN should actually just praise her. Now, I'm super excited because this is a topic that I need to push out today. You cannot, you cannot, no human being is allowed to say those things to a person. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, fine, but don't come out here and be giving it to people like you are perfect or you have the best. Everything she told me. My reply to her was, oh, thank you very much for your reviews. Thank you that you added an extra view to my YouTube. Thank you for viewing all my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for your review. But then if you feel that the reason why I cannot keep in mind, the reason why I'm single is because I have a big stomach and because I am fat then you got it all wrong because my DM is full. But that yeah. is not why. That is not everything about life. So I am single because it is my choice to be single. Not because I cannot get Secondly, mad. You cannot just come and lash out at somebody that she's fat, she's big, she's this. Do you even know why? Yes, I have a big tummy. I can, if you want me to get upset, I will show you. But I will not show you. <laughs> I have a big tummy because I did an appendicitis surgery. And it went wrong. And that is why I ended up with a big stomach. And that doesn't even define me. My stomach doesn't define me. Nobody's body defines them. So now, I read a, a quote, and I'm going to slide it in, in between the video, about your body. It's the way you carry yourself that they would take you. Have you seen Tenny? Oh, that's why I'm a huge fan of Tenny the Entertainer. Remember there was a time on that I was training that somebody told her that she was getting too fat. And then she now brought out fat people association hashtag for the fat people. She appreciates her body because you cannot come and kill yourself. And she knows she's fat and she loves herself the way she is. Is she not making money? Don't you know her name? Is it about her size? And you're not bad, most another example. She's on the big side. Uh -uh. Because, what do we call like, Bobo B's girl? Uh -uh. But yet, you know her name. But yet she's making the money. You cannot look down on somebody. It doesn't make you better than the person. And the reason why I'm saying is because of late people have been very suicidal. Because I'm just thinking that what if she did it to somebody that was already at that brink and just needed that topping to make them actually cut, slit their wrists. And you open your mouth and say that to somebody. Who gave you that right, honestly? I mean, there's a difference between sharing your opinion and then bringing somebody down. The person that is dissing you, the person that is insulting you, who that, you know, call you and trash you, is because they have low self-esteem. Because that is the only way they can feel good about themselves. So imagine after what this girl had said, two days later, she hears on the news, Tega Clifford commits suicide leaving a note behind said this and this and this and this and this and this to me and i feel like i cannot live with myself would you be able to live with yourself waking up every day knowing that you took a life because indirectly you actually took a life but the fact that you would say that to somebody it is inhumane and i'm not speaking for just myself i'm speaking for women out there that people talk down on you because of the fact that maybe you have a big tummy you are fat you are short, you are petite, or you are bald, or you are baby, anything. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has something in their body that they are insecure about. 
but they love themselves irrespective of it. That's what I'm trying to push out there for you guys. You cannot afford to let it get to you. You need to build yourself. You need to work on yourself to get. So it's the way people see you, the way you are dressed, the way you walk in, the way you carry yourself. They will not be able to talk to you anymore. No matter where you go, make sure that you are looking your best. So that people like this cannot get to you. Enough fear. <laughs> like this suicidal thing is really getting to me because they are really young, young people that have a bright future ahead of them. But you have to avoid people like that. And sometimes they are inevitable because I, she did not, I did not go to her. She came to me. But you have to build yourself. You have to build yourself. It is not an option. It is compulsory because people like this are everywhere in the workplace in your house on your street in on social media they are everywhere so you need to have that barricade that strong armor so whenever they come your shield is there to block them you can't let it get to you because the minute it gets to you the minute you start thinking about it the minute it enters before it will come out again, before you can get that all out of your head, that's a different ball game entirely. And if you're in a situation where you have allowed it to get to you, maybe you have some insecurity, something that you don't like about yourself, and somebody is, you know, giving it to you hot, hot, rubbing it in, you need to learn to accept yourself the way Tell you myself. are. Confidence. Self-confidence. Confidence in yourself. Any of the above will make you happier than any diet will. I would walk in any way and they will still hear what I have to say. It's not my fat that they are looking at, but what's coming out of my mouth. So please, and I'm begging, please, no more suicide. It is becoming, it's becoming ridiculous, honestly. It's becoming too much. Come on. This life is not easy. I promise you. Even roses that are very beautiful, they have thorns that will choke you if you're not careful. And challenges, eh, it is compulsory. You cannot avoid, even the rich cry, you cannot avoid challenges. It is just... So how I look at challenges is like um, a half glass of water. Hmm? A glass of water that is half. I don't see it as half empty. I see it as half full, if you know what I'm saying. So when I, when I come through trials and tribulation challenges, I don't see my glass as half empty. I see it as half full. It means I'm getting there. And when it becomes more, it means your destination is closer than you think. I just hope that everything I have said would sink in as a good note. But I just feel like people need to get it right. People need to understand that you don't go around opening your mouth like you have the right to talk down to somebody when you are not perfect. If the Almighty, the I am that I am, the Jesus that we know, did not throw stone at the woman that committed sin, adultery, that everybody wanted to throw stone at her, and God, what did Jesus say? If you, have, or if you have not sinned, throw the first stone, and nobody did. So who are you? To open your mouth and now judge somebody analyze the person you did not see one good thing to say but you had the, to say everything bad why I cannot keep a man now that thing that i cannot keep a man let me now tell you nobody eh, can keep a man a man will stay because he wants to stay if you like have the sexiest body if a man wants to go so yeah, it is just part of life. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Everything cannot just go smooth. And that's one thing you need to understand. Eh? So if you're, if you're telling you that because you're a father, that's why you cannot get the man, it's a lie, yo. Because some men like them thick. If they like you with flesh, you know. They like when they can hold you and feel something. And sometimes men like skinny, modelly girls. That, you know, when they come out, everybody's like, damn. So the one that wants you will come. I just want to say that to the girls out there that do this to fellow girls or anybody, it is wrong and you need to stop it. And for those on the receiving end of this, you need to have that armor. You need to build. Who is a Game of Thrones fan? Y'all, yeah, you need to have that wall. 
that their wall that they cannot break down that it took time for they break it eh, that kind of wall you need to have it so that when they start firing you just they she call it wale it cannot enter ah ah because you know that ah will find go ah nearly perfect but more right <laughs> So guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed my story time. Um, so if you have any question, if you have anything you want to add, please, <laughs> please leave it in the comment section, guys. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. And if you've learned a thing or two, please give it a thumbs up. And then don't forget to click on that button. Just pakam pakam pikim pikim, you know, ringing bell, brum brum brum, so that you can know that I've uploaded a video. All right, guys. Kisses to you guys. I love you guys, and thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. All right.